Okay. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a BIOS flashback on a Crosshair 6 motherboard. If you want to revert to the PVC BIOS version or upgrade or your motherboard's brick and stuff like that. So there we go. There we go, the BIOS, new BIOS version at the what's uploaded date. Boom. So we download that obviously. There we go. We extract the file somewhere. And that's not my case. Boom. Alright, uh, so that's extracted. As you see, we rename the file to c6h.cap. There we go. Then you need one of those things, which is a pen drive. Doesn't need to be big. Stick it in your uh, USB port and format it. There we go, just a standard FAT32 options, quick format, I just label it BIOS, like you see. Boom. And after that, just place the BIOS file on the stick. A okay. Now, close all this. And you reboot to the BIOS. Of course, this is in hand video with my mobile phone, so it won't be anything spectacular quality wise, but this way everybody can see how it's done step by step. So anybody can do it. Save his motherboard and etc. So he, de he delayed F1. Wait, just enter the BIOS. Which is smart move in my opinion. Oh, that's out of focus. Focus. Yep, focus going. There we go. Uh, have a second memory stick. Plug it in. There we go. It's reading. And what I always do is like if I had a stable options, go to tools. Focus that. Overclock profile, and you want to save yourself some trouble, so just save the old BIOS on a memory stick, which is you get in this hit F2 button, name the file, let's say it's stable one, so call it stable. Mm. And that is saved on your uh, second stick with the previous BIOS version, which is 1201, as you see here. That's my second stick. So we can exit this, take the stick out. Now you go and load Optimize Defaults. Which has been uploaded. Reboot. Boot up. In theory, you don't need to do this, but it's highly recommended you do so. So it doesn't corrupt when you be flash flashing it back. So. I think the whole procedure took about 10 minutes last time when I was uh, shooting this video. So I entered the BIOS. I 
and check if everything has been reverted. Yes, everything is reverted to the original settings. Auto everything. You can even hear the fans rolling faster. Right, though. So power your system down. And let's get behind. And this time we got this thingy. Ha! So we can see what's going on behind. I'll get the chair out. Right, so I've put the, the phone's flash on, so that gives me some light, so that should make it much better. Ha! Brains were operating. Right, so we have the memory stick. And you want to drag yourself behind your PC. And... See, that is the port labeled BIOS, and that's where you stick this fella here. I'm doing, doing this on screen on my phone, so... Boom, and it's in, as you see. Now, when you stick with the new BIOS is in, you just press this button here, and hold it till it starts flashing. There we go, and it's flashing itself to the new BIOS version. That can take about, I think, two minutes or less. So you don't do stuff in the meantime, like powering your PC or anything. You just wait for the light to stop flashing and boots itself up so keep recording constantly so you can see it properly some dust here i uh, can wipe the... in the meantime you can do some cleaning <laughs> cable management no way not with oculus rift and using all the ports uh, why we wait? I can, uh, if you're gonna have Oculus Rift running on your rig like I do, I do recommend sticking one, each sensor on one USB port, like I have it here. So, what, because um, there are some conflicts and errors if you try otherwise. So, I've got one sensor stick in the, every single slot. So, one sensor goes into the top port, one in the middle, and one in the bottom. And a headset I've plugged into the separate controller. There you go. And that's how it's working. Yeah, it speeded itself up on the flashing, as you see. Always taking a while. Yeah, could have had some music running in the background for you. Yeah. We're gonna see what the AMD came up with with this uh, fantastic, supposedly. Uh, BIOS update that we should have. This one's the memory focused one that everybody has been waiting for to have, have the Hynix and everything running better. And apparently the cold by cold back is fixed, so we shouldn't have um, errors in the mornings when it's below 18 degrees. At least I had. Oh, there we go. As you see, it's not flashing anymore, so on Fury it's all good to go. Let's have a look then. In that case...
Favorite time, power button. <laughs> As previously, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but I can see my code. Through the visor and we're up and running guys there we go and that is how you flash back your bios if your motherboard is dead you messed up with the bios flash etc etc and the very vision is there we go brand new one so that is fantastic work from asus yet again no problems so see you on the other side on a Overclockers Net forums, Overclockers UK forums, and all the other forums. Have a good weekend, guys, and let's test the BIOS over.